Hello guys. Um, I felt like doing a small little um, material um, tutorial in Unreal um, just because I use Unreal a lot and I really like making materials even though I don't really make them that much but I kind of got um, inspired obviously from the cube from Fortnite and I wanted to just kind of play around and stuff and um, see if I could make something that looks similar to the texture on the cube. You can see it doesn't look quite exactly the same but um, and obviously it's not coded the exact same way because I just have it doing the flashing intermittently instead of just whenever the player hits it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go into the material editor just so you can see how I set this up and just so you guys could kind of get some ideas for how to make some similar materials if you felt like doing that. Hopefully my gum chewing is not that loud. So this here is just a preview of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the cube just so we can see it right there live. And you can see right here that um, I move things around based on what these nodes are doing. This right here is the flashing. The time is probably one of the most important nodes here because that's what's determining when it flashes and how often it flashes. And these signs, um, these are, these sign functions are also determining how fast and how intermittently it does it. And the fact, because it doesn't do it like quite steadily, that's because of the signs. Um, and this just um, kind of stabilizes it basically. If I don't have that there, you can see that it just is much more flashy and just kind of crazy so the ad really stabilizes it. Um, this is the mask that I used for the flash itself. This is just, um, if I can open it, which it doesn't really want. Okay, here we go. Um, it's basically just um, a PNG that I made um, in Photoshop that's basically just a gradient that I made kind of to fit with the cube. So obviously that's editable. And this is colors here. Obviously this, the divide flips it so it's green, but um, I have another function here, the multiply add that reverses that basically. And so now it's just the, um, it's basically back to being that purple color. This is all for the texture. I stole that from a different like default texture that comes with Unreal. You can see it doesn't look great, but you can see that's the little textural bits, like the little white stuff is coming from this. Um, and this stuff I just stole, so it's not that interesting, but you can kind of see it's all text cord, use little texture samples, bunch of adds and multiplies, just so you can kind of get a good look at those nodes and where they're attached. And this is the runes, so these little symbols that you can see on the side here. I just, this is basically just, I drew these in Photoshop and then I changed the text coordinate here so that the tiling is ma makes them smaller because if I just have this set to one, it um, they're just the whole size of the square and I didn't want them that big. Multiplying it with this purple makes them more of a purple instead of white because initially they were going to be white. Um, panner is telling, panner mixed with text coordinates and times is basically telling this, which is the mask for these runes it's telling them basically to mask the runes at a specific point. That's where you can kind of see, if you can kind of see, you can kind of see that texture, the mask is moving upwards on there. And I couldn't figure out how to get it to stop at a very specific time. I'm sure if I had messed with it more, I could probably get it to do that a little bit more. It's a little bit more obvious from the top, the mask there. And I definitely need to change a few things here if I want it to look closer to what's in the game. And then subtract is basically just com um, compositing those together. And yeah, basically. So 
going to go ahead and zoom in just so you can kind of get a closer look at each of those if you wanted to experiment and make something similar to this on your own in Unreal. I don't know if this really counts as a tutorial because I'm not really giving you the steps involved, but I figure it's good just to at least see the setup and then kind of extrapolate from there so you can change it easier. And obviously you wouldn't have these exact material, um, these exact textures, so you'd have to make them yourself, but yeah, anyway. Also, if you guys want to just like call this number and mess around with it and see if anything interesting happens, especially if you do the 8 extension, let me know. It's not really mandatory or anything and it's safe, but um, just I think it'd be cool if some people messed around with that because I messed around with that number earlier and nothing really happened. So if you guys want to play around with that, that would be awesome. All right. I will see you guys later.